Hello everybody, this is P.O. Barch here, and in this video I'm going to be doing a sort of an update video on my quite older and badly filmed video of how to play Warplanes World, II dog, World War II Dogfight. This is a free game, um, it's a very simple shooter game, but it's pretty neat in that it has all the World War II planes and stuff with pretty nice graphics, so it's, it's built in Unity, so you can only get so much out of that. It's completely free to play, it's been made by HomeNet Games, you can get it from the Microsoft Store for free. Um, before I start, uh, it's a good idea to sometimes uh, make yourself a cloud save here. That's my email, but you know, who doesn't know my email? Because um, that way you can actually download your data from, um, what's his face? You can download your data um, from different computers and play play your game so that you never lose uh, you never lose progress when you switch to a different device. So now let's just switch here. Uh, to start the game, you go to start game. I recommend starting with pilot mode just just because you don't have to deal with um, base costs and stuff like that. So we're just going to start with here. So eventually you go start. Um, USA is a good campaign to start with. USSR is actually a great one to start with. Japan isn't so great. Germany is okay, but not for bombing missions because the first bomber sucks. So you need to get a bomber that'll, that'll actually carry something and that takes a bit. Um, Great Britain's also really fun, but I'm going to start with USA today. You start and you get all this kind of stuff. In 1942, the Pacific has become a major theater in the global conflict. I'm just going to skip that. Alright, so, the game works that you put your cursor in the middle, and when you move your cursor to the side of the, to the, side of the um, cross here, the plane will turn... The, fa the, fa the plane will turn faster as you move your mouse farther to the side. It's not like in War Thunder when you move your mouse, or in Minecraft when you move your mouse and the, um, and the plane just moves somewhere. This is consistent movement. This is more like Battlefield sort of thing. Uh, up here we got our airplane damage indicator. Um, this will turn progressively red as you, uh, as you get take hits. It'll just look like you got bullet hold. This is your uh, engine boost, basically. You hold down space, and this will slowly turn red as the engine boost gets warmed up. Thing is, I cheat. I found um, I found a loophole where you could just tap the space bar, and you can still get full power, but you won't ever overheat your engine. That's very good, especially when your engine isn't upgraded. This is the machine guns planes that have only machine guns, like the Wildcat. This thing will just get red as you shoot, and uh, it'll jam, and then it'll cool down, and then you can start shooting again. Um, cannon don't heat up, but they have limited ammo. So now let's start here. As you can see, I'm um, tapping the overdrive key. You'll notice that when you go down, the overdrive tap doesn't work, unfortunately. So we're going up here, and you can see the enemy is marked with yellow triangles. You can see the, um, the number of enemies to be destroyed, the base structures that have to stay until they get destroyed, and then, um, you know, this is all the enemies that have to be destroyed, but you'll, you guys will figure this out pretty easy, right here. If you press L, if you have more planes, you'll get a plane list, I'll demonstrate that in a sec, uh, as soon as we get this mission over with. One thing that's interesting, if you fly right up to the flight ceiling, these guys can't get you, because you can actually fly higher than the um, enemy fighter flight ceiling and pound them from there with bomber back guns, which I'll demonstrate a little later. Unfortunately, Japanese planes can turn quite hard, so um, it's kind of hard to get these guys. Um, you do hardcore aiming as well. Now, you see this little triangle right here. It's um, it's your marker, but around it there's this white ring, and that white ring will decrease as you as um, this plane takes hits. Go, same goes for your planes. You'll be able to see. It your planes um, taking damage. You'll see how much they've taken damage. Also, when your plane reaches a critical damage level, you'll start smoking. And the enemy plane will also start, start smoking. Boom, there you go. Fighter's down. Um, anything else? Let's see. Here, you can upgrade your plane turn radius. I don't recommend doing this for fighters because they usually can outturn and outmaneuver everything. Uh, some tips. Uh, when a fighter's shooting at you, just don't, the, the enemy fighters have terrible aim, so they'll sort of uh, straight from left to right or right to left and they will um they're generally not too accurate but if you have a ton of them on your tail you don't want to get hit by them because uh, in the beginning your plane will take damage extremely fast 
Anyhow, we got a new squadron. They'll come in squadrons sometimes, which is interesting. See, right now I'm at the flight ceiling, and these guys won't be able to get me. Him, where are you? I play aggressively and efficiently, so normally people just sort of fly around like idiots and just not be able to, you know, get their guns to turn. They'll sort of just blunder around the map for a little bit before getting another track. I just turn right to the next target. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, you'll get this little brown arrow that tells you where the enemies are, which is interesting. Same goes for Space Commander, actually, which is a great game, also. Now, here I've just noticed this bug, the, uh, the tail fin. Um, the rudder actually intersects the, uh, the tail plane, which is not good. Alright, so yeah, you got gold. Uh, secondary objectives give you a second, even number two gold. Sometimes you'll have the main fighters and stuff like that, and then you'll have these other, like, red fighters that don't necessarily count for, um, the actual objective, but you can destroy them for extra points. Premium mode, you obviously get more gold. Hardcore mode is when you don't have, uh, auto-aim. I recommend this for grinding. Alright, so here's their base. Um, you know, tents and stuff. Nice. Got a few barrage balloons here. So, no, uh, no, no walking through the base and stuff. Here's your gold. More gold you got, the more planes you can get. Uh, I'm gonna turn on hardcore mode, and you get five gold uh, added to each mission. You can also do optimized mode. This basically is only good if you have like a sucky computer or like a really, 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 really bad phone, because Unity graphics aren't necessarily hard to run. Um, controls. These are your controls. This is in general pretty interesting, but I don't recommend changing this much. Um, missile view, yeah. Look back. Um, I'll show you guys all those in a second. Here we go, let's click this. I've got, we got a bomber mission, you get 20 bucks for this one. So let's get on with this. So first of all, you're going to hear that annoying air raid siren whenever you're by a town. Um, there's your uh, fuel tanks and stuff. Fuel tanks are always marked with the uh, yellow stuff. You can also destroy the secondary objectives, which are the uh, AA trucks. AA trucks only fire at you when you're below a certain altitude. AA guns will, on the other hand, fire until you're below a certain altitude. And there's a small layover between these two where you're going to get pounded. Bombers are slow. They don't turn very well. This thing turns like an absolute brick. So I don't recommend flying it if you can. This is your 20 bombs. They're 2,100 pound bombs. They'll destroy anything from a from the small fuel tanks to the AA trucks. Anything bigger will take at least a 250 pound bomb. This is your back turret. This is your engine boost. Obviously, uh, bombers have very bad machine guns. They only have two machine guns usually in the front. They reheat or they overheat quite fast. Back guns don't overheat quite as fast, but once they do, they take forever to cool down. But you can usually fire with them for well over a minute before they um before they overheat. So let's get on with this. There's your arrow showing you the um the stuff here. I hope that you feel the controls of the bomber as good as on the fighter. Now gently guide the plane over a target and order the crew to drop the bombs. And of course, enjoy the view. Now there's this ridiculous thing that they say, order the crew to drop the bombs. You don't just press B and the bomb drops, because you don't have a bomb site like in War Thunder. You actually press B, and it gives you this kind of bomb site right here. Now when you're in the bomb site view, you don't have the engine boost, you don't have the infinite engine boost, same as when you pitch down too hard, or when you're too low to the ground as well, you lose the engine boost that um, that I use. Um, with moving targets, you want to aim it just a little bit ahead, because, you know, they're going to... You want to move. You want to aim ahead at the target where it's going, so that you don't miss. Um, there's a bug where sometimes AA trucks will spawn under the ground and just drive around underground. You can only get them with bombs then, because bombs have a blast radius. You can also destroy bridges. I recommend tilting down like this because you get a little more view here. You can destroy two tanks with one bomb actually. So here we go. Think. Now, as you can see, I didn't quite damage that fuel tank all the way. Now, what's another interesting thing is the AA trucks will actually shoot at the buildings. I'm not sure why that is. It's quite annoying, though, so I'm just going to take you out. Take you out. Boom. Um, 
You can also destroy buildings that are factory buildings. You cannot destroy, destroy the houses right there. Alright, we got one more left to get rid of here. Never mind, two more. Get rid of you. Now you can also you can also shoot the um or you can actually dive bomb as well. Let's see. And this is rear gunner view. Got your little gun back there. Um, you can shoot at the tanks and damage them. You can also um oh you can also get yourself hit by trees. So look at you can get yourself banged up with trees. So don't you know. Don't, um, don't mess with trees. You can also accidentally hit steeples, so watch out for that. You can fly right through houses. But you can't fly through factory buildings, unfortunately. Ooh. And if you get too close, you don't even have to quite hit the trees and you already get damaged. So, here we go. Bam! It's gonna... For formality here. <laughs> Shoot down our little fuel tank. Whenever you, whenever you see the um the little you know bullet flashes, that means you're hitting a target that can be damaged. If you just see like little puffs of black, that means you're not damaging anything. It just sort of hits stuff. So yeah, that that's basically an efficient that offensive mission right there, bombing mission. Claim a reward here. All right, excellent job, Scott. All right, whatever. So hang, we got 49 gold by the way. So we can do this ridiculousness where, um, all right, great. So now we got both our planes ready. These are upgrades, by the way. I'll talk about those in a second. Um, yeah, let's just go here. All right, so we got destroy AA stations for fighter squadron. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys finally the planes list. So here we go. You hit, you hit L and you got the planes list. You can or you can order the bombers and the fighters to to both attack ground targets. They'll shoot at them. Um, in the case of ships, though, if you have ships, the uh, the bomber will still bomb them. The bomber will bomb ships and it'll also bomb buildings if you order the building bombing. So this works for ships, and this both both of these make the bomber on ships, but only this one makes bombers on buildings with bombs. This one makes them attack fighters. I'm gonna I'm gonna order that. I'm also gonna order that. So we can try to attack some uh, AA targets here. Now here's the thing. You want to get down to the ground so that the flak guns can't hit you. My aim's a little rusty. Pardon me. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get these guys though. Hey, buddy! Alright, got him. Where the hell did he go? There he is. Yeah, so, it's, I'm getting a lot more money for these missions now. Which is great. I'm gonna get that back down on the deck here. Oh, by the way, one thing you gotta watch out for is when you're flying in hardcore mode, you don't have this, um... You don't have this ground, proximity, this ground proximity protection thing, so you can actually run into the ground and die. And uh, in um, in you know normal mode, you can't hit the ground because there'll be like this protection thing. You have to like really, 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 really um, go with the overdrive to actually um, you know get the. Uh, God darn it! My aim is bad today. Oh, you little... Oh yeah, see, he's out turning me like crazy. Oh, I almost hit him. <laughs> you little... Yeah, okay, sorry, my aim's a little off today. All right. I'm going to switch to this guy now. And I'm going to go after these guys with the bomber. Now, this guy only has two machine guns as opposed to that one, six. So, obviously, um, less, a little less hitting power, but 
I can use the, um... It's the back guns here. They're pretty fun. Ooh, shoot. Great, we got the hardcore mode reward, reward. Sorry, my my tongue's all twisted today. So we got 71 gold. Nice. Uh, we can order them to upgrade some planes. Yay! So, first thing you want to upgrade when you upgrade an airplane is the crew training for the fighters, because this will enable them to actually fight. Now, no, we're still going to do some upgrades here. Next thing you want to do is armor. Because that'll keep, um, you know, that'll keep your planes from getting banged up. Generally, you want to um, slowly upgrade all the planes, but I actually just usually go one at a time. Uh, agility is good, but you only really need it when, um, you know, when you're not flying a fighter, when you're flying a bomber that literally can't turn. Um, you're going to want this, because when you pull out of a dive or you want to avoid a building or something, then this is very useful, because you can actually just get up and out. It also, um, in pilot commander mode, it also saves fuel. Which is, you know, it can get pretty expensive with the bombers. Um, gun heating, obviously you want um, this. So let's just go for a mission. Let's go for the premium mission. Now in this case, I can actually just... Oh, I forgot to mention one thing. Um, oh, jeez, how do you... Um, wow, I'm starting to actually forget how to use the uh, UI here. Oh, there is no achievements. Yeah, that's interesting. All right. Uh, there's this achievements list. I'll show you guys that, that in a second. I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to actually switch to you. I'm going to switch to eight 250-pound bombs. This is the best bomb load because 250-pounders are the most powerful. Um, they're the most versatile raptor, and there's a lot of them, which means you can actually destroy quite a lot of stuff. Uh, you want flag fire avoidance on your bombers because bombers do how you know they do have good um, resistance, but if you upgrade the flak avoidance all the way, you'll get 80% flak avoidance. You'll never get hit by flak in a bomber ever, practically. It's pretty much a 100% guaranteed um, thing. Gunner shooting accuracy, obviously, the bomber in general the, also begins a formidable dogfighter, especially with the big bombers, because they basically just start shooting. They're they're acting like flying gunships at that point, so they'll basically go right after uh, the enemy. So here we go. I'm just gonna do, go for the fuel convoy, make a really quick run here. Here's the fuel convoy. There's a bunch of AA trucks here, so I'm going to try to stay away from those guys. Um, so we got tanks. Alright, here we go. So the AA trucks, yeah, they're going to fire at you. They're actually a little less... Whatever. Boom! <laughs> Got him. Alright. That's basically how you deal with bomb missions in less than 20 seconds. <laughs> Alright, so there's only one plane here that can be that's valued up to 230 gold. Um, here we go, we get our list of planes. So, Corsair is great. It's got slightly heavier guns than all these guys. The best plane, though, the best fighter, is by far the P 38 because it has four machine guns and they're the weirdly heavy caliber. Um, so, some of the machine guns are just super duper big, like they're they're on the Hellcat, they're on the P thirty eight, they're actually also I think on the B twenty five and the A twenty six maybe, and they're also on the Machi C O C two O two which is a German uh, premium plane. They're also on um, what else are they on? They're on the Kai sixty one Hien. So here we go. This is the only one we can get for free. So I'm just going to get it. Um, this plane actually has quite a tight turning radius already, so you don't need to upgrade at all. Anyway, so also this one carries rockets, which I'll demonstrate on the next mission. Great. We got the F4U Corsair. So I'm going to, first of all, upgrade. I'm going to try to upgrade that guy all the way soon. 
I'm gonna give you this, and now we're gonna go on a offensive mission. So this is just a truck destroying mission. Now there is um before I start here, there is actually a loop of missions. Um there's just a certain number of missions that are looped over and over again. And you can actually sort of anticipate what's gonna be um coming next. So the truck missions are actually you know you can do them as a solo mission because the guns the uh, trucks are the weakest targets in the game, so you can just wreck them with machine guns practically. So I'm gonna send everybody Oh wait a minute. So hold on. Press escape to you know to get this thing. Be right back. I forgot to take the wildcat out. So I'm gonna get that guy going, hopefully. Um Damn, I need money. Alright, here we go. Offensive mission. These are very easy. Boom, 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 boom. So we're just gonna get all that. And now I'm gonna take the freaking. This thing looks like it's got rocket engines underneath. You see those rocket engines it's got? <laughs> so anyway, look, look at how maneuverable this thing is. It doesn't need, um, you know, turning upgrades. There's just six machine guns that are a little bit heavier caliber than the, um, they're a little more powerful, rather, than, um, than some of the. Dropping bombs! Boom. Truck out of oh, oh! Got some um nasty little buggers here. Come on. Ooh, there's a lot of them. All right. Yeah, let's just get the planes out first of all. Guns overheated. Why does this guy drop his flaps? Oh my god! Look at this. This thing drops its flaps when you um when you uh when you when you make a turn. Oh, you already got it. <laughs> nice. That was doubtlessly see that would doubtlessly the Hellcat. Now here's the thing: when you um when you you know do an extra when you when you stay on the mission. You'll actually get extra planes to shoot down, which is interesting. Gives just a little more points, which is nice. It's gonna be a nasty head on, man. <laughs> Going straight into 50 cows. When I played for a long time at a time, I used like I used to, I sort of lost my taste in the game after a while. Um, I was able to just clean out planes really nice and quick. You know, because I was good. Oh, you don't want to get into head ons necessarily. Um, one thing you never do is um, if you're playing the Japanese side, you don't ever go in a head on with the um, with the Jap with the uh, B25 Mitchell. It's got a huge cannon in the front that just absolutely wrecks everything. All right, we got rookie, 25 airplanes destroyed. Now this is um, nice. So these are here's here's our achievements. Uh, you make money as you go along. Um, solo missions are great um, because they're easy to do sometimes. I've done one, but I'm gonna do a lot more. Um, now you also get this cool thing, the daily challenge, and here's another thing you get. Um, you want to let this build up so at the end of your day, when you're finished playing, you want to pick it all up so you get a lot more money. So now we got 99 gold. Here we go. Um, I'm going to fix this. This is a problem. Alright. Get you some fixing. I'm also going to give you some... Actually, I'm not going to give you anything yet. Um, you need full armor. Alright, nice. And this guy's full. I'm gonna actually take the two 250 pounds of rockets. This is the most powerful loadout here because you got rockets and bombs. Most versatile. All right, here we go. I'm gonna do this time. I'm gonna do a defensive mission because why not? Here we go. We got everybody coming in. Ready for your orders, squadron leader. You're on it, sir. 
And now that everybody's got these really powerful, um, you know, uh, pilot skills, you can just go ahead and wreck all the planes. Now, here's a trick. You can actually use rockets on your bombers. Um, you can use rockets on bombers, because bombers only fly straight, usually. So, I can do this clever move where I'm just going to come in here. No, oh, never mind. Oh, it doesn't work in hardcore mode. Uh, all right. It only wor it only works in um in you know normal mode. It's much harder to um much harder to hit them without auto aim. So yeah, this is um this is basically demonstrating how to attack bombers. These are just B five ends. They don't have back guns, so you don't have to worry about them. The bombers that do have back guns, you gotta worry about them. The Japanese bombers have bad back guns. Uh, the Hamaki and Renzen are absolute cheese graders. You don't want to ever get into a. You don't ever want to get into a tail chase with with one of those, because uh, you're gonna get outright wrecked immediately. And no, you can't shoot your own planes, which is kind of sad. I kind of wish you could. Add a little spice to the game. <laughs> there we go. Boom! Alright. Now. You. 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 Ah, yes, you can actually get so far out in the mission area here that you can wreck the planes before you even got a chance. Switch here, and yeah, you can send planes to reload, which is fun. So basically, we got we got deadly accuracy right now because all of our planes have ridiculously good uh, dogfight efficiency. So let's see if we can just outright wreck everybody. So I'm gonna actually upgrade this guy. Uh, the Corsair has a bug that it likes to attack the, key, the Kai 45 Toryus, which are um, the twin engine fighters the Japanese use against us. And unfortunately, they've got a big fat 20 millimeter cannon in the back, and it's oddly a fit, it's oddly accurate. So the Corsair almost always comes back almost destroyed, which is not good. Oh, okay. no, I forgot about that. All right, how about you? How about I just give you some armor? <laughs> And um, now I'm gonna do a naval mission. And this is all the, and this is where you can use rockets the best. So boats have AA guns. You get too close, and they'll, you know. So both have AA guns. They act just like the um, just like the um, things. Just gotta get out of here quick. I just boom. <laughs> Pretty easy. Pretty simple. I can stay on the mission again to get some more money here. Have some more planes to attack. Some zeros, I think. Whoever they are, they're mean. I also noticed that if you get too close to planes, the overdrive also starts to die, and it just completely dies. All right, nice, an aircraftman. Yay! All right. Before you, of course, right now what I'm going to be saving on right now is not 
fighters I'm going to be saving for either the B-25 or the B-17. The reason why the B-17 is so good, it's got 13 machine guns, but also it's got a ridiculously huge bomb load. And it's also, I noticed the modeling, um, copy and pasting here. This is the tail of the B-29. Yeah, I haven't noticed. The B-29 is so huge. Um, this thing actually isn't is an overrated plane. It's just yeah, it does look absolutely sick, which is you know that's why I fly it. But it um it unfortunately just has bad guns. It doesn't have good guns in the back, which is annoying. It's got four machine guns in the front though, unlike the B-17. B-25 has 15 machine guns and it's got five of them in the front, <laughs> or more actually. It's got this giant cannon, which absolutely wrecks everything but it's unfortunately an AI controlled one you can't shoot it but it'll it'll start shooting at the plane that's ahead of you which is great and it does a ridiculous amount of damage um, the five machine or rather the eight machine guns that are in the front here um, they're they're the most powerful guns in the game on any airplane so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna, yeah I'm just gonna leave that how it is um, now that I've got money flowing, I can actually sort of upgrade stuff here. You're fine, I guess. I'm going to actually turn off hardcore mode now, and now I'm going to show you guys what efficiency is. Oh, by the way, this guy's kind of cool. He looks a bit like the P-47, but um, it's got two 20mm cannons. Not machine guns, but 20 mils. No, no machine guns, unfortunately, so you can run out of ammo, but you rarely do because there's so much of it. A20 ammo, this thing is just a big fighter. It's just one big fighter, so it doesn't have a back gun. <laughs> but it's got six machine guns in the front, so you got nothing to worry about. Now let's go on, under, on another mission. You just want to take all your planes out. And here we go, base protection mission. It's kind of boring, honestly. But I'm just going to go wreck some B5Ns. <laughs> now, here's the, um, here's the key for uh, ammo loadouts. Rockets will destroy one light bomber in one shot. Um, the heavy bombers take two shots. And fighters, of course, take one shot. Now, here we go. Auto aim's bugged. Yeah, I know. Boom. J2M's done. There's still... I don't know if the bug still exists. That um, that 20 millimeter cannon just don't work on barrage balloons. Good chance they do. Um, they used to not shoot. I'm going to go attack these V5Ns now. There we go. I have it. Firing rocket. Other D3As. These are the only... These are the light Japanese bombers that do have back guns, so they are a bit annoying, fortunately. i got to catch up to this guy. No. Ow. I forgot that these guys turn. I forgot that these guys turn. The D3As have the same bug as the... Um, as the Doe 335s and that, they turn when you lock on, just like the fighters. But they also, um, they also don't actually attack it, so they're kind of an annoying thing. They're just annoying. Just barely got that guy, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this bomber. Sorry, bud. <laughs> Last bomber. Just nail this guy. Yeah, I gotta get the gun reload time on, or the gun, um, jamming, heat up thing, gun cooling. By far the, um, the most hindering factor here. See, my guns are already done. Alright. So now that we got 18 things here, I'm gonna... Nice. So why don't we do some achievement hunting now, actually? Well, of course, I'm going to first get that. God, more money. I really need more money. Oh, my God. I'll get that. And I'll get that. Might as well. All right. So now I'm going to do some achievement hunting, actually.
Um, what do we got here? Destroy 90 enemy airplanes. Let's go do some defensive missions. <laughs> Let's go to Formosa. Alright, so... They're gonna be a little mean to me today, so that, that, that's annoying. Ha! There we go. That's one that I didn't miss. I'm gonna actually go attack these, um, the AA guns here. They're just the AA vehicles. I know I'm gonna get banged up here if I don't watch it myself, but you know. Destroy two of those guys, I think, at the same time. Let's get my lap up. Boom! <laughs> Love the sound that makes, alright. Now let's just... get really awful close with them sometimes, and you'll get lucky and you won't just die, but, um, but, uh, you generally don't want to get that, you generally don't want to get that close, sorry, my, I'm slurring, I think, because, uh, because of, um, I can't hear my voice because my headphones are on, like this D3A, ha 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 ha, um, goes flying off. I don't know. I'm taking these guys head to head. Alright, great. We got Rising Star, and now we can do another bunch of upgrades. So, there's actually a trick that I have to upgrading, and I already made a video on this before. Uh, with fighters, you don't upgrade anything except for this, 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 and this. With bombers, rather with bombers, you only do, uh, with bombers, you actually do, um, you know, gun heating, agility, armor, climb rate, and pilot skills, but the general, um, must is get, um, uh, get armor first, agility next, pilot skills, uh, and then you get um whichever one you want this or this. This means you get. This basically just means you can get out of the um you can get out of the fire faster than you would normally. So actually, I'm gonna get that. Get this. Get, get that. That should do the trick. Okay, so this, is gonna, this is gonna be the plane that I actually spade first, most likely. All right. So once I get all these upgraded, then I can just move on. Meanwhile, let's see about the achievements still. What do we still got? Oh, so yeah, that's going to take a long time. Corporal. Struck 100 enemy fighters, okay. But this is the same thing, what? Oh, I think this is just fighters in general, and then this is, um... Yeah, 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 I get it, okay. Well, why don't we just go for another defensive mission? And I'll show you guys sort of what's gonna happen here. Now you'll notice that clouds spin when you turn the, um, when you turn the plane, the clouds turn with you. That's a unity bug, there's really nothing you can do about that. Um, I'm gonna actually attack these guys first, because I feel like it. Come on, auto-aim. Deadly efficiency, that's what you call it. Oh, 
Oh, he went right through me. Alright, let's go get the fighters. Enemy bombers in sight. Obviously. Once you get once you get all your planes spaded up, then um, basically you are unstoppable. As you can see, I don't waste any time trying to, um, you know. If they're quick enough, they can't turn. There we go, and. Those guys can play with the fighters. I'm here to, you know, do the Superman stuff. I feel like I'm finally like firing laser cannons or something when I fire the rockets. They're just so wicked effective. I don't know why I keep flying that way. I gotta be flying over here to get them. There we go. Get right in their path. There we go. Let's get this guy. It's funny how you can harass fighters like this, this is really fun. Anyway, just turn you back in and just get this guy. Whoa, come on. Oh, jeez, I'm getting awful close there. Alright, that will explain it. So overpowered. <laughs> all right. Yep, Corporal. Nice. Got all that. Nice. We got a hundred something bucks here. Let's um. Let's do the sweet upgrades here. Nope, not quite enough for that. All right. Honestly, I shouldn't be upgrading this so much, but I could actually probably stop there. You generally want to, you know, you don't want to deal with anything that's less than like 25 degrees turn. Because, um, you know, it's, it's going to be sluggish. I don't know what the, look at these, look at the size of these bombs. There's no way this thing can actually fly with these. What the heck? <laughs> that's crazy. Well, at least it carries a bunch of rockets, and it's got six, ma I mean, yeah, six machine guns. Kind of lame. Um, P51 Mustangs, okay. It carries ten rockets, which is really something. Um, it, you know, that's a, that's a lot of rockets. Actually, I'm gonna switch this to this because it's even more effective. P38 can also carry ten rockets, which is just bloody awesome. Um, there's a bit of a bug here where it doesn't sit on its shadows right. That. Home that games, what the heck, man. Um, this guy doesn't really need a turn radius upgrade. Let's see, let's just keep working. I'm, I'm deli alien. We got 19 gold here. I gotta stop wasting my, wasting my time here. Ha ha ha, not enough. So this is all premium crap. Unless, of course, you guys want to um, support the uh, company, then I don't recommend doing it. What's this? Destroy A vehicles? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> Whatever, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and rocket them. Alright. The heck? Alright. Looks like I missed a few shots. That's not good. Alright. I actually don't care about those guys much. Oh, 
All right, so this is basically how I just do crazy efficient working. Um, let's just go on another one. I'm basically just not going to stop until I get enough money to get something. Flight leader, this is high command. Your new orders are as follows. Destroy all enemy fighters. This mission is of utmost importance. Acknowledged. Waiting for orders, sir. Job you had, sir. I wish there was a way you could set this to autopilot so the AI could just take over. That'd be so nice. Somewhere. Enemy locked on. Firing rockets. That's a confirmed kill on enemy fighter. Enemy locked on. Firing rockets. I got it. Oh, sometimes it doesn't work. I'm closing in for the shot. Firing rockets. Enemy fighter eliminated. I'm a little rusty. Don't enemy blame me. This is basically how you play the six. game. <laughs> um. Doesn't always work on fighters, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, by the way, guys, the ME262 in, um, you know, in the German tree. Ready for your order, squadron leader. The ME262 in the German tree. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. It has 24 rockets. You can just outright maul um, bombers with, which is just awesome. Flight leader to command. Ultra Basically, it just means you can just go and spam rockets all over. All right, fine. I'm just gonna give you guys that. I guess so. Man. I guess so. All right. Anything else? Oh, that's just a little too much there. Um, I'm gonna give you actually gun heating. Might as well. Let's just keep on going on the offensive missions. Let's see if we can get the uh, P-38 by the end of this video. Boys, command is sending you on a special mission. We know you can do it. Destroy the enemy convoy transport. Boys, time is our enemy as well. You have to be efficient. We're on it, sir. Standing by for orders. Acknowledged. Check. Target down. Escort destroyed. Come on, guys. Get the ground. Targeted by sight. Let's see like hit the um E key and not the I rocket the key. There we go. That's better. Let's just stay on the mission, because we can get some more points now. I am. <laughs> That's what you call it, fishing. Sometimes these guys are just so annoying. Oh. I have it. I have it. Enemy fighter going down in flames. I'm on it. Fighter down. I'm on it. Sometimes it's actually just easier to you know, just um, shoot the uh, shoot without the auto aim. Sometimes it just works better. Um, I'm just gonna attack you guys. You can see the A guns actually turn after you a little bit, which is pretty funny. Keep working. Ha 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 ha. Mess with these guys a little bit. Target out of action. Target deployed. Nice work. That artillery. 
artillery is no more. Pretty awesome. Pretty easy. This game's fun in this way that's just so simple. You just, you know. Nice. Got that again. Let's keep making money. Um, obviously, first though, I'm just gonna, um, yeah, not you. You, maybe? No. Oh, jeez, you know what the heck? I'll just give you that. This one's gonna need seven now. Nice. Alright. So, as soon as we get all these planes upgraded. I don't, I've always tried a naval mission for a change here. Protect ships, destroy bomber squadron, pretty simple. Right? Waiting for orders, sir. Copy that, sir. <laughs> yeah, let's just go. Let's go. And wreck these guys, alright. Protect our ships. You have to focus your fire on enemy bombers. Boys, time is our enemy as well. You have to be efficient. We're on it, sir. You want me to be efficient? I know how to be efficient. <laughs> More than simple to be efficient. Yeah, you can see how these guys just, you know, they're able to absolutely... I have it! Firing rockets! Bomber no longer a threat! I'm on it! Enemy locked on! Firing rockets! I got it! Ha 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 ha! bombers coming in! Fighter destroyed! Bend it down! Got him in sight! Firing rockets! Awaiting orders! Come on, Dauntless, get to work! Oh, we're staying on the mission this time. Come on, boys, let's have some fun here. So, oh my god, don't tell me. Alright, never mind, we don't have Torius yet. Auto aim is bugged. I actually step. I don't know what I do with my controls here, but um, where's the um? Shoot, primary left shift. Yeah, okay. I don't know how that exactly happened, but you know. There we go. Switch back into hardcore mode just for the heck of it. You can actually fly under bridges then, which is nice. Just need a little more cash here. Um, that's nine. And so is that. Perfect. We got zero dollars again. <laughs> I'm such a genius. Yeah, he's really 99 cents, guys. So, I mean, that and a dollar isn't really much different. The Hellcat actually is probably one of the best planes to go for simply because it's so early on in the game, but also. Here's a torpedo if you like torpedoes. I don't like torpedoes, but you can go right off the map with them. So that's fun. Catalina is just ugly, but it's got a cannon thing in the front. So I guess it is sort of good. Um, B-25 Mitchell is just the ultimate, you know, plane destroyer. Here we go. We gotta protect the base again. Boys, here are your new objectives for today. Protect our base at any cost. Destroy all enemy bombers. Destroy all enemy fighters. Completing this mission is a major tactical importance to the war effort. We're on it. Standing by for orders. We're on it, sir. We'll hope we get some B5Ns because they're pretty fun. Enemy down. Firing rockets. Oops. Forgot about the auto aim. 
Yep, these are B5 ends. Firing rocket! Rocket away! B5N still have guns. <laughs> We've got incoming enemy fighters. Get ready. Good kill. Bomber out of action. Lots of smoke coming out. I got him. Hostile bomber spotted. Enemy fighter going down in flames. Bandit down. So I forgot to mention barrage balloons. You'll notice the balloons that are hanging out over our base. They basically just prevent the bombers from dropping bombs. As long as those are there, the bombs can't drop. Uh, later on in the game, when you got the Renzins coming in with their big bomb loads, you're going to want to make sure that these don't get wrecked, especially by the Torias, which have the heavy back guns, which just outright wreck everything. That they get their hands on. So just keep that in mind. There you go, got that guy. Let's get the spider squadron. Yeah, it takes practically nothing to wreck these guys. Alright, we got a little more money here. Let's just um get that one more time. That all takes fifteen, I guess. Um anything else we can get for these guys? You're done. Alright, now let's keep going. I might um Yeah, until I get a bomber. It's gonna be nice to um, get some defensive missions, and so let's just get some defensive missions. And there's some hard ones sometimes, like when you got the Stuka G2 or whatever. This is High Command. We've got some important targets for you today. Protect the convoy, transporting tanks. You have to focus your fire on enemy bombers. Engage all enemy fighters. Many lives depend on you and your success in this mission. We're on it. Get them, boys. There we go. <laughs> Got lucky that time, I'll tell you. Oh, he flew right through me. Take that, boy. Going to the bridge. <laughs> oh, look at I get to go into the bridge. Woohoo! I can actually do a wing dip thing, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, <laughs> that's fun. I don't exactly know why my poor tanks are firing at my bridge. That doesn't make any sense. Where's the Where's the Hellcat at? I thought I taught you to shoot at the bombers, bro. Alright, let's go get this guy. And sometimes the plane self-destruct, as you can see right there. Ah, you little bastard, take that. I'm going 
gotta get him, he's mine. Alright, fine, we get to share the kill. Mission critical target destroyed. <laughs> Flight leader to command. Target is set. Alright. So we're just gonna oh, we got thirty five bucks, which is funny. Cause that's like the number of something that you get. Something something. Alright, let's keep going here. I need to get you upgraded all the way, hopefully. I need to get another fighter, actually. I really need to get the rest of the fighters here. The Mustang is oddly expensive for its armament. It's only got 650 gals and it just sucks. This thing's the best one, and that's what I'm aiming for. Um, actually, hardcore mode. I'm gonna go for some solo missions. Just to make stuff quick here. I need a bomber. I need a bomber. At some point, bombers are the best because you can actually go on. You know, you can go on just about any mission with them. They'll just they'll do the job perfectly. Now here's the thing: this train has AA guns on it. Money on upgrades. So, you decided to go on this mission by yourself. I'm impressed. Here's your task destroy the enemy coal mine. Many lives depend on you and your success in this mission. I'm on it. All the way. Target building is out. Dropping bombs. Target up in flames. All the way. Target eliminated. Oh, there's still more here, okay. Yeah, I forgot about that, alright. Damn it. Well, now I need to shoot down these buildings. That's not gonna be too easy. Never mind, I don't have enough bombs or time for that kind of stuff, so I'm just gonna take. What? Okay. I got more money. Fame, or, yeah, let's go. Let's go, you alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go out of rock. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I definitely want that loadout because it's got rockets and bombs. Alright, here we go, let's go. Waiting for orders, sir. Understood. Right. Hope this is worth it. Um, Squadron leader, stand by for your orders. Destroy the enemy coal mine. Boys, time for our enemy as well. Have to be efficient. Did you hear that, boys? Target up in flames. Building destroyed. Whoa. Yeah, you don't want to run into barrage, into the barrage balloon wires, by the way. Dropping bombs. Target building is out. Climb right out of here. Building destroyed. I need some help with those bandits. Damn it. Damn it, Dauntless. All right. the ground there. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, 
Boink. Boink. And now, let's get rid of these guys. How about that? Now, just because the balloons are down doesn't mean that you can't hit them. See, so you can hit the wires and you can also hit the actual balloon when it's just falling. Which is annoying. But, you know, it's necessary, I guess. No, it isn't. Some escort. <laughs> Boy, that's a crossfire if I've ever seen one. God, Jab, stop playing with your food. You gotta shoot at me, trying to put me out of my misery. <laughs> Alright, let's go get these guys. You guys coming? Yeah, you're coming. Let's get them. Let's get them, boys! There. Come on. Alright, great. More money. More money. More money. Alright, great. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the Hellcat. This plane is officially my favorite fighter. Because of this. But also because it's just ridiculously good. Let's get that. Let's um let's get that too, of course. Alright. We're gonna wait a minute. Default plane, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, this plane has four fifty cals. Not really fifty cals, but more like twenty millimeter cannon because it's just you know, the guns are glitched or something, they're just bugged that they're super, super, super duper powerful. Um, I don't know why they're so powerful, but they are. I'm gonna turn off hardcore mode now because this thing's got twenty mils that are kinda hard to aim. Um No, not that. I want that. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, defensive mission. Let's go for a defensive mission. I'm actually going to do a clever move here. I'm going to set my controls like I, um, yeah, remove, all right. I'm actually set, oh, never mind. Come on. Remove, all right. Now I'm going to set accelerate to, um, 
shift. And I'm going to, yeah, aim's Q, nice. I'm going to actually shoot, drawing there, it's going to be space, shoot 20 mils, going to be, actually cancel. Shoot primary, actually no. Shoot primary is not going to be space. Um, no, actually, yeah, it is. What the hell? All right. Oops. Tell me to make cannons for the win. <laughs> That's how you do it. Alright, so I screwed the controls, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to um Primary left shift. All right, nice. This is going to be better. Enemy bombers in sight. <laughs> look at look at that twenty millimeter cannon keybind text. That's just that's that's messed up. <laughs> Enemy fighter going down in flames. All right, here we go. Come on. There we go. Well, I'm carrying a massive bomb under me right now, so that's fun. There we go. Come on. Where are they? Alright, so this is obviously my lamest work right here. I'm normally better at this. Tippity tap, 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 tap. No. He always gets me too close. Alright, so now you guys see what the Hellcat can do. Imagine what the P-38 can do. It doesn't actually do as much, which is funny. It's not quite as powerful, which is strange. Because it's got this 20 mm cannon, but it's only got one 20 mm as opposed to this thing's got four heavy machine guns and two 20 mm so it is actually better in a lot of ways. <laughs> this has got more ammo, though, which is hilarious. Um... Yeah, next up in line is gonna definitely be the B-25 Mitchell, or the B-17. The B-17 is expensive though. But yeah, if you guys want to see what's um what's gonna happen next, then just you know let me know, and I'll make more videos like this hopefully. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys managed to get through this, this is how to play World, uh, Warplanes World War II dogfight. Um, if you guys want to subscribe, that'd be great. I do post most of the music videos, but I do post some of, uh, some of these sometimes. I also post some more Thunder at. Uh, some points in time. So, anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later.